Hey everybody, it's Corey from Spreadsheet Class. In this video, I want to show you a Google Sheets cheat sheet that's a really amazing resource to have for anyone who uses Google Sheets, whether you're a beginner or a pro or anywhere in between. This is the ultimate cheat sheet for Google Sheets formulas and the ultimate cheat sheet in general for Google Sheets. And I'm going to show you everything that's included with it in this video. So first, of course, the cheat sheet has the formulas list. Now this list is over a hundred formulas long, but these aren't just randomly chosen formulas. I chose these very carefully and I accumulated this list of formulas that perform certain tasks over many years. I've been working with Google Sheets professionally for about seven years and all that time I've kept track of all of the formulas that I've needed to do my work. And so this list contains all of the formulas that you might need to handle any task that comes your way. And right here, you're just seeing a very small section of the formulas. Of course, when you get the cheat sheet, you'll get access to all of them. But here you can see the list of formulas, and there's a description for each formula that describes how the formula works. The more complex formulas will go into more detail, describing exactly how the formula works with the exact cell references that are entered into the formula. Which brings me to my next point, which is that to use these formulas in your own spreadsheet, all you have to do is click on a cell with the formula in it, hold control on the keyboard and press C to copy, then click on another cell in another spreadsheet probably that you want to use the formula in, then hold control on the keyboard and press V to paste, and then press enter. And in this case, it's telling me not to edit the cells because this is a template and this should not be edited. And so this window that popped up wouldn't be there normally, but I'm just going to click OK. And of course, it's giving me an error because I just entered it into a random cell. But that's how you enter the formulas. All you have to do is click on a cell, copy it, go to your sheet, choose the cell where you want to paste it, make sure that you type an equal sign, then paste the formula. After that, all you have to do is change the cell references to match the data for your project. Now again, you're just seeing a small piece of the formulas that are here. And this list of over 100 formulas contains everything from absolute beginner formulas, such as cell references and mathematical formulas, all the way up to very advanced formulas, such as query and import XML. And again, it's meant to be a list of the absolute most useful formulas and a comprehensive list that you can use to refer to easily to accomplish really any task that comes your way and to be able to quickly copy and paste these formulas into your own sheet. You'll be able to quickly find the formula that you're looking for, and you'll be able to enter it instantly without having to retype it each time. So you'll have all of the most important formulas right at your fingertips without having to go look around for them on the internet. And in my opinion, it kind of makes you like an instant guru in Google Sheets. Now, even though one of the most useful things about this ultimate cheat sheet is that it's a spreadsheet, it's still really useful to have a PDF cheat sheet that you can print and use as a condensed list of the absolute most important formulas and shortcuts. So as a bonus that's included with this ultimate cheat sheet, you'll get an advanced dashboards cheat sheet that's in a PDF format that again, you can print. All right, so let's go over the next really cool thing that's included in this cheat sheet, which is the formula search feature. So if you want, you can scroll down the list of all of the formulas to find what you need, or you can hold control on the keyboard and press F to search for keywords. Or if you want, there's a tab that's specially dedicated to searching for the correct formula. And it's on the search tab. All you have to do is click on the yellow cell, cell C1, and then type in a keyword such as filter. And as you can see, it's showing me some results that have the word filter contained either in the formula or the description. And this is not case sensitive. And so you can type uppercase, lowercase, really doesn't matter. And so not only did it return different variations of the filter function, but also the query function, which in this case is being used to filter data in a special way. And so this formula search feature is going to be an even faster way to find the formula that you need without having to scroll. And if you want, on the main formulas tab on the formulas list, not only can you add new formulas at the bottom if you want, 
but you can also add the descriptions or even modify the descriptions. All right, so for this next tab, I got to really zoom in because I don't want to give away too much in the video, but this is the shortcuts and symbols tab, and it has way more than just shortcuts and symbols. It has every different keyboard shortcut that you could want. It has all of the different symbols and operators, and not just the common ones that you'll find on generic cheat sheets. I wish I could tell you in this video how much stuff is on this sheet, but again, I don't want to give away the surprise in the video. But it's really the ultimate Google Sheets reference for all of the different shortcuts, symbols, special characters, special formulas. There's even emoji, different options and attributes for special formulas, really everything that you could want. All right, so next, what's included with this cheat sheet is a chart quick reference. Now, there's also a template called Quick Sheets that I'll tell you about in a minute, but this quick reference has 15 different charts on the same tab, and these charts have a live connection to the data that's right beside them. And so you can see how the chart has been formatted, how it's been connected to the data, what format the data should be in for that particular chart, and again, the formatting of the chart and all of the different settings that are applied to make the chart look like it is. Because these are not just the generic charts that appear when you insert a chart in Google Sheets. There's been some things done to make them look more professional. But for example, real quickly, you can see how this column chart is formatted by double clicking on it, which opens up the chart editor. And if you want, you can click on the setup tab and you can see that the data range is connected to the range A1 through B7, which is this product sales data. And when this chart editor is open, you can click on any section of the chart and it will automatically open up the appropriate menu in the Customize tab. So here I've clicked on one of the columns and it opened up the Series menu. And here you can see that the Series fill color is red. And you can do the same thing for these other elements here. If I click on the vertical axis, you can see that bold is selected, the text color is black, and so forth. So again, there's 15 different charts that you can look at as an example to see not only how the chart is formatted, but how the data is formatted and how the data is connected to the chart. Another thing that you can do with these charts is change the values in the data to see how it affects the chart such as right here in cell B3, where it says $300. If I change this to $100, you can see that change reflected in the chart. If I change this to $5, you can see that change. And then if I change the 485 to a lower number, the entire chart will adjust because that's the number that's determining the maximum value on the vertical axis. And so if I change this to $70, all of the columns on the chart adjusted because the vertical axis was modified when the highest value in the data was changed. And you can do this same thing for any of the charts that you want. And so that's just another way to familiarize yourself with these charts. Now you'll see here on the right, there's an option to link to the Quick Sheets template. And what the Quick Sheets template is, is a spreadsheet workbook that contains all of the same charts and data that the Quick Reference has. But here, each chart is inserted on an individual tab, which makes it really easy to right click on the tab, then click Copy To, and then either click New Spreadsheet or Existing Spreadsheet. And Google Sheets will allow you to select a spreadsheet to copy that tab to and by doing that, you can instantly transfer these charts and the data that they're connected to to your own spreadsheet. And then all you'll have to do is modify the data and the headers. And in some cases, again, double click the chart, open up the setup tab and change the data range to what you need it to be. But the point is that you can use these charts as a pre-formatted template to transfer to your own spreadsheet so that when you have to create a new chart, you don't have to create it from scratch every time and click a thousand different things to format the chart just how you want it. The chart is already formatted and the data beside it is already in the correct format and is already connected to the chart in the correct way. And so again, the Quick Sheets template will contain one chart per tab. And by right clicking and then clicking Copy To, you can transfer these sheets to your own spreadsheet, which allows you to use all of these different charts as a template. 
And so this is yet another thing that I'm not only excited to share with you, but I'm excited to use for myself. All right, so we're not done yet. There's some more really cool things that are included with this cheat sheet. And so another thing that's included is a sheet that has examples of all of the different types of spark lines. There's multiple examples for each of the four different types of spark lines, which are bar chart spark lines, which you're seeing right here. There's also line chart spark lines, column chart spark lines, and win loss spark lines. Now you might be wondering what the heck is a spark line and how do I create it? But here I'll show you in cell E3, look in the formula bar and you can see that a spark line is a formula that creates a chart inside of the cell. And this is an amazing Google Sheets feature that I don't think a lot of people know about, and it's incredibly useful in a wide variety of tasks and projects. Now, again, you're just seeing a portion of what's here, but again, I don't want to give it all away in the video, so you'll have to get your copy of the cheat sheet to get access to all of this and be able to copy them into your own spreadsheets. Now, if you want, you can even change the data to see how the spark lines change. And so here we have the data at 55 and the max at 100. And you'll see the spark line move when I change the data to 75, for example. And so you can change the values to see how it affects the spark lines. And the variety of examples included also show you how to change things like the color, the line width, the background, and so on. You'll find these spark line formulas in your formulas list. And of course, right here in this tab where I'm showing you the examples. All right, again, there's even more included with this cheat sheet. The next thing that I'm going to show you is there's a tab that shows you a wide variety of conditional formatting examples. So just like the charts, you can look at these examples to see how the conditional formatting was set up. You can use this sheet to get ideas for conditional formatting for your own sheet. If you want, you can copy this sheet to your own tab like I showed you for the charts. So there's a few different ways that you can transfer this conditional formatting into your own spreadsheet. So for example, I'm going to go to a completely different Google Sheets file where I've copied the tab, just like I showed you, into another spreadsheet. And so here's a brand new spreadsheet. And as you can see, I've copied the conditional formatting tab into it. And if I click on the conditional formatting tab, all I have to do to transfer the conditional formatting is select the cell that contains the conditional formatting that I want to copy. For example, cell F3. I'm clicking on this cell. Now the first way to transfer the formatting is to click on the paint format tool, which looks like a paint roller on the top toolbar. I'm going to click on that, click on another tab, and select any cell or range of cells where I want the conditional formatting to be. So I'm going to select the range B1 through B11. Now you can't see anything yet, but if I enter the number 100, you can see that all of the formatting, including the conditional formatting, has transferred into column B, which again, this rule turns the cell background green if the number in the cell is 100. Now I might as well show you the other ways to transfer this formatting real quickly. So I'm going to go back to my example sheet, and there's two different ways that you can copy and paste to again transfer the conditional formatting. So first I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and press C to copy the cell that has conditional formatting in it. Again, I'm going to click on another tab, and the two different ways that you can paste to transfer this formatting is, first of all, the normal way to paste, which is holding control and pressing V on the keyboard to paste which will not only transfer the formatting, but the contents of the cell. I can hold Control and Alt at the same time on the keyboard and press V to transfer only the formatting. And again, if I type the number 100 after doing that, you can see that this conditional formatting example has transferred over to another cell. And the conditional formatting rule, as you would expect, is already created for you, and you can adjust it as needed if you need to. And just like the spark lines, if you want, you can change the values in these cells to see how it changes the color of the conditional formatting. And so this one, the background turns green if the cell is equal to 100. And so if we enter the number 99, the cell is not green anymore. Here on the color scale, if I change this cell from 30 to 40, it gets a little bit brighter. 55, 66, 77, 88. 
and so on. And so you can change the values to see how the conditional formatting reacts, or in other words, how Google Sheets will automatically color the cells depending on the value inside of the cell. Once again, you're just seeing a portion of what's here, and you can scroll down to see more conditional formatting rules. Now, if you want to see how these rules are set up, all you have to do is click on a cell that has conditional formatting in it, click Format on the top toolbar, click Conditional Formatting, open the rule, and you can see exactly how that conditional formatting rule was created, such as here in the color scale. And here's an important thing to look at. The midpoint had to be manually set. I set it to number and 50. And then here's where you set the colors. And so you can do this same thing for each conditional formatting rule on this sheet to educate yourself how these things are done. And again, it's just a great way to get ideas for how to format your data, such as when there's a lot of different zeros that you want to kind of disappear into the background. All right, so yet another thing that's included with this cheat sheet is an additional tab for special conditional formatting rules that use conditional formatting formulas. In the conditional formatting menu, there's an option to enter a formula under a selection called custom formula is, and there's some really special things that you can do with these conditional formatting formulas, such as highlighting duplicates in a column or highlighting an entire row where a certain criteria is met. And so on this conditional formulas tab, you can do the same thing that we were talking about earlier, where you can open up the format menu and conditional formatting, and you can see the rules and the formulas that make the sheet perform in this way. And in your copy of the cheat sheet, the formulas will be shown in row three right here. So I really hope that this cheat sheet makes your life easier, makes your spreadsheet work faster, and overall, I hope that you use it to increase your skill level to be able to handle any spreadsheet project that you're given. If you want to get this ultimate cheat sheet, I've also linked to that page below where you can read even more about it and where you can gain access to your own copy.